Welcome, in front of me is the Motorola Moto G7 Play and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the developer options that will allow you to change the animation speed. And as you all know, basically everything here is animated. So if you pull up, I had this like animation of this, these cards popping up. If you tap on them, they zoom in or out. So everything basically here is animated. And to change this, we'll go into the settings. From settings, go all to system, then about phone. And let's find build number. So it's right on the bottom, tap on it seven times. And if you have some kind of pattern set, you will need to confirm it. If you don't, it will automatically activate after the seventh stop. And you will see this message, you are now a developer. And if you go back, you should find developer options right here in the system. And from the developer options, scroll all the way, or not all the way, but like past halfway, till you see where is it? I think I passed it already. Oh, there it is. So window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. Now each one of them corresponds to a different side of animation. For instance, the first one, window animation scale, or animation scale is the quickness, how quick opens it up the window that you actually get when you tap on this option. So when you tap on it, it pops up. If you set it to times 10, you can see that it's going to be super slow. Or you can set it to off or half speed and it will be quicker. Now same thing can be done with most of the other animations. You can set basically all of them off and now there is no more animations of any sorts. Now if you would like to have some animations but just quicker, you can just set it to 0.5 and everything will be basically twice as fast, but you will actually still have animation so it won't be that jarring. So you can see that it's way quicker now. Okay, so that's the first one. Now moving on, we're gonna go into the gesture and uh, as you can see, I've been using this little button kind of like the iPhone has. Um, and it's a little bit different than the one that Android has. So to activate this one, if you like it, um, you would go back into the settings and then into Moto, uh, Moto Access it, or Actions, and it's right here. One button, Nav. So if I disable it, it goes back to the uh, mediocre Android buttons. If you activate it, you get this little button right here that I can basically navigate now. So I, uh, basically, I think if you activate it for the first time, it gives you a guide or you can all see the guide or you can skip it, but uh, slide down to go home, slide up to go to reset, slide to the left to go back and slide right to switch uh, recent apps. So that's basically it. And you can also tap it uh, to go home or uh, hold it to get the uh, Google Assist. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go into a option that, well, it's kind of um, different than normally use, which is the airplane mode. Now, normally when you activate it, it just disconnects from your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and mobile data, and stuff like that. So basically disconnects you from everything. Uh, but on top of that, uh, if you have some kind of poor, quali poor quality, uh, your calls are dropping off and you can't hear someone because they keep like, cutting out you can try to enable the airplane mode and it will disconnect from whatever tower you are connected at the moment uh, consider like in terms of the uh, your provider and when you disable the airplane mode it will then reconnect to the closest one to you so you might have been connected to a further away that's why your calls were not as clear and good as you would hope so and this might fix it now moving on it's uh, a little well, guest tweak, or I'm not really sure how to call it, but basically when you're in an app and you have uh, the screen screen off, as you can see, it's disabled now. Um, so you go to, for instance, something like a web browser. And uh, 
if you flip it over, it doesn't flip, right? But you can see that there's a tiny little button right here that appears now that you can tap and to flip the display over, even though you're still, you still have the, um, the, 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 the rotation disabled. So it's a nice way if you want to just view something in a, uh, in a landscape view but don't feel like turning it on because then everything will basically turn on and it also automatically locks it to that uh, to that view so if as you've seen if i flip it over and enable it and i flip back it doesn't actually flip back to um to the portrait mode you would actually have to press the button to flip it over so it's a fairly nice uh, feature that that has been added and the last thing that i wanted to show is the hide password uh, which will allow you, for instance, when you're typing in Wi-Fi password or any kind of other password anywhere. This is just easier for me to show. When you start typing it, you can see that there is always a first letter visible that you've typed. And in my opinion, it's mildly annoying and not very secure. And there's actually a way to disable that if you go into the settings and then security and location. And from here, scroll down to advanced and you'll see right here, show password which by default it's for some reason enabled. So you wanna just disable that. And now if we go back to passwords, or well, network and connect to some, you can see that whatever I'm pressing adds immediately a dot. So if someone is speaking over, they would literally have to see uh, when you're typing in right here. But I think this is a little bit harder to figure out than when it's being neatly provided in order in the line. So that was, that'll be the last. And yeah, if you found any of these tweaks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.